As a dog parent, you have to watch out for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes can spread heartworms to dogs, and dogs can die from heartworm huh? disease in severe cases. <laughs> My pet's tips. Subscribe! The heartworm life cycle. Heartworms causing a disease in dogs are parasites transmitted by mosquitoes. Huh? If a mosquito bites an infected dog, it can spread heartworm larvae to other dogs the next time the mosquito bites. Microfilarii grown in the dog's bloodstream live in the pulmonary artery and heart. Adult female heartworms even reach about 10 to 12 inches long. <coughs> Symptoms of heartworm disease. Symptoms of heartworm disease are unnoticeable right are after okay? the bite. It takes months for the infective larvae to mature into adult heartworms <laughs> and float towards the pulmonary artery. <laughs> Four classes of heartworm disease. Mm. Class one, no <laughs> symptoms. Class two, an occasional cough and decreased appetite. Class three, a persistent cough, weight loss, decreased activity, anemia, and ascites, meaning abnormal fluid around a dog's abdomen. Class four, breathing difficulty, lethargy, hematuria, and shock. This final class is also called Caval Syndrome. Mm? Phew. Caval Syndrome is caused by a mass of heartworms. They interfere with closure of the tricuspid valve and cause a disorder in blood flow to the pulmonary artery. They also affect overall blood flow, resulting in ascites, pleural effusion, and hematuria. Dogs can be shocked or killed by even a little stimulus. Prevention and treatment. Number one, treatment. The treatment for heartworm disease is not easy and may cause severe side effects. Thus, prevention oh. is the best treatment. Caval surgery can remove the heartworms in the final class when drugs are no more effective. However, <sighs> depending on the dog's age no. or health condition, the prognosis may not be good. Mm. Even Shall in we? the earlier classes, drugs often cause side effects such as lung complications and blood clots. What is important is prevention because <laughs> infection can recur after a complete recovery. Mm. Number two, preventatives and tests. Veterinary associations emphasize prevention and recommend annual testing. <coughs> Giving preventatives to an <coughs> infected dog oh. can cause serious side effects to him. Jolene, stop! If you have stopped giving the drug to your dog for a while, he should be tested for infection before taking the medicine again. Also, there is no perfect test. In some cases, oh. false negative results occur. For example, when the dog is infected with a small number of heartworms, immature females, or only with males, or when antigen antibodies complexes are formed, he may get a negative result on the test. Therefore, if in doubt, extra tests are necessary. Number three, types of preventatives. Preventatives no. vary in the form of tablets, liquids, no. and syringes. Um, no. <laughs> Number four, precautions for preventatives. Some dogs may have side effects with certain ingredients of the preventative. Shetland Sheepdog, Collie, and Whippet are known to be particularly sensitive <laughs> to the ingredient called ivermectin. If your dog is allergic to the hmm? drug, he can mm. suffer from skin rashes, <sighs> itching, and seizures in severe Ay. cases. Consult with your vet to find the best medication for your dog's breed and health condition. What's up? Itcha! Chewing! For more videos, make sure to subscribe and follow us. Thank you.